Hi beauties, it's Jean Persani with Beauty and the Stamper. And today we are going to make a buy it or DIY it. You tell me. So I found this at Target. And we're going to go ahead and do a Dollar Tree dupe. And as you can tell, the DIY is going to cost much less. So I think we can do it for about $6 and a little bit of change because of the paint and whatnot. But let me go ahead and show you what I got. So I found this little guy. It has a hanger on the back. And it's got this Good Vibes Only. And it's a nice little shadow box type thing. So I grabbed one of those. I also grabbed this grip liner. So it's that liner that you put, um, you know, for shelves. So you could also use burlap, but I saw this and I said, I think I can maybe make that into a faux burlap. So then the last thing I did is I picked up a few succulents because if you haven't been watching me, my theme for the week is succulents. <laughs> So, or cactus, but I picked all of these up all at Dollar Tree for one dollar. Trying to think if this came from Dollar Tree, I believe it did, but I really like these purple ones. So, I grabbed these three and I went with a large, medium, and small. It's actually two, two mediums and a large. So, let's go ahead and I'll show you what I did. So I'm also going to be using um, some Arteza Burnt Umber with a semi-dry paintbrush. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this little guy, I'm going to kind of get my hands under there, and it pulls off rather easily. So you can save this portion for another DIY if you'd like. So now we've got this guy here. Again, remembering where the top is, I'm going to take some of this um, burnt umber and I'm just going to stick it on here. And I'm not going to worry too much about um, too much about how much it is on there. But I'm going to first dry rub some of this on the top and just kind of give it a different color, more of a a rich color rather than that goldish green color. I've got this long paintbrush but I wanted it to be um, nice and dry and wide bristles. Then I'm going to take this and you can see that it's got some great lines there. I'm going to go with that same thing. I'm going to just put some other lines in here to kind of darken it up a little bit and give it more of a wood texture. So not a lot, just a little bit there. And this dries so nicely. So I can already touch it because I'm literally almost dry brushing it on there. So I'm going to get a little bit more there. And put some. And we're almost all good. Now I've got this in here and I'm just going to go a little bit in some more of these spots and... Give it a little bit more brown in there. And then you see I haven't done the inside yet, but I've got my paint in there. So I'm just going to take that and I'm going to rub it along the sides. Not too worried about this middle. And I'm really not too worried about, um, excuse me, about some of that white showing through. So I'm just going through like this, and I'm just going to cover it up as best I can. And I'm still, while that paint is wet, I'm going to go along these sides in here and darken this up as well. So if you could see what I'm doing, again, I'm not worrying too much about the paint there. And for me, the more rustic, the better, so I'm good with that. So I've really darkened this up a bit. So I've done that. And now, 
that's almost it you guys this is such a quick DIY like why spend $30 because I'm gonna show you how fast so I measured these guys from the inside to the inside and it's just under five inches by five inches so I've got out my mat here and I've already taken a piece of this off and it's just under five inches okay so there we go like maybe a sixteenth of an inch or so and I'm gonna do the same thing so I've got that cut here I'm actually gonna go with this side and I'm gonna cut, go to the five mark so we are at one two three four five I'm gonna stick this right there but right under it there we go and then I'm gonna take my um, rotary trimmer this is the brand new one that I got so it is super sharp and I'm just gonna roll it you guys look how easy this cuts like butter like done we're good so I've got my hot glue going and we could hot glue this if we wanted to but I'm gonna find the top make sure and then if you could see these lines kind of go downward I want them all to be facing the same so I'm not going to be using hot glue because I want to be able to move this around a little bit without burning my fingers so this is beacons mixed media glue oh my goodness you guys it's really good glue so if you're doing any mixed media that's some good stuff there so I'm just kind of putting it on there and that's all and remember let me just get this here with my baby wipe and we're gonna take this guy remembering where my top is and I'm gonna throw this in there and be oh did I not cut it the right length oh there we go okay this one is a little bit longer so I think I must not have cut enough of it off but I'm just gonna move it around and get it all in there nicely get it all glued in there and I don't have to worry about burning my fingers oh there we go it's nice in there and remembering where my top is so we've got that in there and I've already done the other two so we are good to go and you see how I've made all of those like that and it does look a little bit like burlap don't you think so now's the the fun part we're gonna put this guy in there I'm just gonna take this right off I'm gonna grab some scissors and cut this down leaving just a little bit there and then we're gonna take our hot glue and we're just gonna pile that hot glue on here Then we're going to take this little sucker, we're going to put him in here, having him nice and lined up there. We're just going to hold it. And there we go. We're going to do the same thing with this little guy. And these succulents are really pretty. So with this succulent, you want to make sure it's lined up the way that you like it because the um, they turn. So line that little guy up the way you like it. We're going to do the same exact thing here. Put that hot glue down there. And stick that right in the center. I'm going to just move it around to get it where I like it there. There we go. And then that one's done. Now this one's a little bit trickier. So you're going to pull him out. And you can save this for another DIY. Maybe a foot of some 
thing. I don't know. Or you can just toss it away. Then you're going to do the same thing. We're going to cut these little guys out of there. Making sure I got the tops there. Not that it matters. It's completely round, but I just like it. I'm going to put some hot glue on there. And we're going to take that and put it right on there. You guys, this has cost me one, two, three, four, five, six, and then this guy. So seven bucks as opposed to $29.99. I think this is a good buy, uh, DIY rather than buy. But you guys let me know. Give me a thumbs up if you like this. Please share it and, and comment. Let me know which one's your favorite out of these three. I love the big of this. I love the purple of this. But I think this little guy is my favorite one. It's got the greens and the purples. Look at how pretty that is. So, alrighty. Let me know and I will talk to you later. Oh, I've got more succulent designs coming up. So, make sure you subscribe if you're not already. Alright beauties, have a wonderful day. And I'll talk to you later. Bye!